DJ Yummy. I'm here. Yes, DJ Yoni, thank you, thank you for the great welcome. Appreciate you for years, well, decades, to be exact. <laughs> I'm exposing our ages, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Exactly. say Sean because most people not, not know Sean but you the one that introduced me to Sting which is known to me as Sean Sean E. D and those were the good times though back then like the middle late 80s well when I say good time again I'm exposing my age but I had some real good partying time back then Well, right now... Uh, it's something I'm looking at, and I, I have no idea how it's done, but there you go. You're way ahead of, of, of the curve. Okay, check it out, everybody. Um, once again, this is DJ Barnabas. I have a YouTube channel. Now, this YouTube channel, um, I started last summer. August last year, I started, and what I basically did was I compiled a whole bunch of music. My music, DJ Barnabas Mixes. I got Sting International. I got Road International from the Q Club days. I got DJ Carlton. I got the, um, yes, the Q Club. The, the good old Q Club days. Um, and and everybody know DJ Yoni was part of that era with Road International. Um, my fellow brothers, um, DJ Roy, shout out to Desi. Shout out to the whole Road International family. Yeah, DJ Oxtail, that's my brother for life. Reaching out to DJ Oxtail. Don't forget Chef Garfield downstairs though. Chef Garfield had the best of the best cooking up downstairs. We can't forget that. Hey, we can't forget Mel the photographer now. I got a few shots from him too, you know. You can't forget him. You can't forget him.
please, please do. Let the people know, you know, ahead of time what is in store for them on my YouTube channel. I got everything in there from back in the days when party was nice. I mean, they had a few little mishaps too now, but the party was nice still. <laughs> Yes, please go, listen, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you think about the mix, the music. Let me know what you really think about the whole channel. So, Yoni, let me ask you, what's, what's the name of your radio station? Uh-huh. So, so basically, it's Splash. So people can just tune in to www.splash and they will catch all your broadcasting. Okay. Okay, good. And you are you there every day? Um, what's your scheduling? Okay. I'm a, it's a place 24 hours a day, but my live shows is Monday and Tuesday. Okay, okay. That's good. Presently, I'm on the phone with DJ Yanni, formerly of Road International, resident DJ for Q Club International in Queens in the late 80s, early 90s. Yeah, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? I'm here. Can you hear me? No, but believe it or not, Yellow Man, I mean, when you when when you say Bob Marley is the king of reggae that bring reggae out, Yellow, Yellow Man has to be in that same paragraph too, as far as I'm concerned. Because in the in the early 80s, mid-80s, Yellow Man had certain boom shot tunes. And Yellow Man kept the party moving. And even, I mean, I don't know if you remember. Yellow Man did a show at Red Parrot around 1988, 89. Right. That day right there, Sting International was playing and I was in the booth with Sting. And that, that, that Thursday night went down in history. Yellow Man was performing, tore up, tore up. And I'm talking about tore up. That was David Thursday night party. Yes. Yeah, at, at um, Red Parrot.
Well, um, like I said, I started back in August with my YouTube channel. And from August to today, I've um, I got about 62 videos of different mixes, different DJs, different situations. You know, so I try to do something every two weeks. I try to put something up. Every two weeks, I try to put something up. And like I said, it's not just my mixes. You have Road International. You have Sting International. You have Downtown Shores from Biltmore Ballroom. I, I'm taking you back into a time where, to me, reggae music was nice. Not that today is not nice. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. But as I... Because right now, I'm living in Dominican Republic. So I'm doing this for people all across the world that took part in that reggae music era in New York City, where there was love people, Q Club, Reggae Lounge, Red Pirate, Underground. You understand? And believe it or not, I was out every night back then. I was out every night. And when some people look at me, they're like, damn, you're, you're 55 years old? I mean, I praise God because... I think I'm 55, but most people don't think I'm 55. Now, you know, I ain't going to tell you his age because he might not want you to know. <laughs> and this man right here, DJ Yoni, he's the one that gave me the opportunity. I never forget that it was like, it was a situation where he had to do two different parts. No, as a, as a matter of fact, it was three parties. It was Act Tree, Underground, and a net party. He chose the Act Tree. He sent Sean to Underground and sent me to the net party. And that's and from there, it was history. I appreciate that, Yoni. And, you know, like I said, enough respect to you. Enough respect to my brother, Sean. Sting International. Keep doing your production. Enough respect to Road International crew. Enough respect to DJ Axtell, DJ Carlton, DJ Paul, rest in peace. You know, everybody else that I didn't get to call out their name, I want you to know, thank you. Thank you very much, Johnny. Appreciate you.